Hello once again, this is Kyle. Let's write some code. Today we're going to be talking about promises. Now promises are an alternative way to manage asynchronous code in JavaScript. And if you're curious about handling async code without promises, I did an earlier video about using callbacks that I will put a link in the description. But promises are part of the ES6 uh, proposal or ECMAScript 6 uh, proposal. But the API has been around for a, quite some time using third-party libraries. But promises are available natively um, in the latest version of Node.js and IO.js, um, as well as most of the major uh, current browser versions, um, except for IE. So if browser support is your uh, goal, then and it should be, then you should uh, definitely be still using a third-party library to uh, create your promises. So let's get on to promises. Um, I have a basic project here set up. I'm just going to clear that out, and it's. I'll put a link in the description on how to get the same project set up, but it's basically just using Budo to uh, live compile our index file here that whenever we make a change, uh, it will uh, refresh the browser here. And so I'm just going to start up our server here by typing in npm start um, to get that going. Now, a promise is basically just an object with two functions on it, uh, a, a function named then and a function named catch. Uh, and the then function is called anytime the promise is successful, you know, everything is good. And then the catch function is called anytime uh, something bad has happened. So we've created, I've already created here a library called fetch and it's promise based. And so we can use this library um, to create promises. And so anytime we call it, it's going to return a promise. And so we'll just say ver promise here and we'll call fetch. Now what fetch will do is it will create a network request and request one of these files here. Um, I have a couple of files here uh, called bears.txt and fish.txt with bears and fish because bears like to eat fish. And so anyways, we want to request the, the bears.txt file here. And so um, we're going to fetch that here and give that file name in here. And so what fetch is going to do is when we call this function, it's just going to return this promise that has a then and a catch on it. And so we can then call that function here by saying dot then to call the function. And it's going to give us uh, a list of bears here um, that we can console log out. And so once the, uh, the request has finished, uh, it will call this then function and supply our bears here. And so when uh, we refresh the page here, we get our uh, list of bears here. Now, uh, what we can also do is we can add a catch function on here that if there's any kind of error that occurs uh, when, when uh, trying to resolve this promise, uh, we can handle this error here. And so we're gonna say, you know, let's make this really big. We got an error, we got error, I don't know, grammar, we don't need it. Um, anyways, so say, you know, maybe I typed this wrong, I, you know, blah, 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 and save this, uh, you know, now, uh, we will get an error that, uh, you know, the file is not found here. And so we were able to catch that error um, in the promise here um, by adding a catch. And you can simplify this by uh, chaining the promise or chaining the function calls on your promises here. So after then has, has been called, it returns the promise itself. So then we can additionally just chain them here and call catch right after um, and get the, uh, still get the error. And then, you know, once we fix the error, we can save it, and now the error will be ignored, and we just get the console log out bears. So maybe you're familiar with callbacks, and you're thinking, hey, those are just callbacks. Promises are stupid. Why do we need them? Well, just bear with me, because promises become really useful as soon as you start using a bunch of them. Uh, let's look at some examples now. So now that we have our bears, uh, we want to get our fish. So we're going to fetch. Uh, the fish.txt file here, and then that's going to return a promise that we can call then on. And from here, we can get our fish, and we can console log out our fish. And as you see, when I save this, uh, we get our bears and we get our fish. Now, the problem we have here is that we're nesting callbacks, and we really want to avoid that. And so what's really cool about promises is that if you're within a then of a, of a, a promise, you can simply return another promise, and it will resolve that promise first, um, or rather next. So it will first resolve this promise where we fetch our bears and we get our bears and then we're going to call this which is going to return a promise to fetch our fish and then that's going to return here 
and this then call and we get our fish. So we can remove that nesting by simply returning a promise within our then call here. And so now when we save this file, we get the same result, but a much more readable uh, line of code. Also, what's really cool about this is that it simplifies our error handling here. So if we say, you know, we, we call the wrong function here uh, or the wrong file here and we get an error, of course, we get this error caught here. But even if we're in the within the promise here and say, you know, we call something I don't exist and we're fetching here, we still will get the error um, in here. So we can have a single catch that will handle all the promises that are being resolved here, all the all the chained ones. Um, so we can have a single error handler for a whole group of asynchronous calls. And even if we're within a, uh, a promise here and we say, okay, well maybe there's some kind of error that we just want to abort from, um, you know, like, oh, bears doesn't look good. We need to, we need to get out of here. We can just throw a new error here and say, you know, uh-oh. And uh, so if it's within the then, um, and we throw within the then, this catch is gonna catch that error. So we get kind of that, that try catch synchronous uh, feel to our async calls again uh, which can be really nice here moving on uh, let's just say we want to resolve multiple promises at once and we just want to know when they're all done uh, to continue on like let's say we need to get the bears and the fish um, just out at the same time and um, uh, you know once they're all done uh, we'll do something with it and so we can do this by doing promise dot all and so with this is is a function that you call that you pass in an array and then the array is just an array of promises and so each of our fetch calls here uh, so bears.txt uh, each of these fetch calls will return a promise that is now populating uh, this array here and so promise.all uh, will return a promise in itself that we can call then on and so what this will say is um, Okay, as soon as all of these promises have finished resolving, uh, give me an array of each of their values and it's gonna correspond to each of these. So the first value in the array is gonna be whatever was resolved from uh, bears and the second one is fish. And so we can just do um, var bears here equals val uh, or values zero and then uh, fish equals values one here and we'll console log out bears and console log out fish and when we save this we get both uh, of them resolved at the same time now it's important to know that these are the order is not guaranteed just because this is the first in the array it uh, if bears takes longer to to finish the network request uh, fish can come in first so uh, just be aware that promise at all does not guarantee uh, the order now that you know how to use promises uh, let's go over creating them and they're really easy to create um, you simply just say uh, var promise, um, we're just going to create a promise to this variable here. Just say new promise. And you pass the uh, constructor here a function. And this function has two arguments, uh, resolve and reject. Now you call resolve when everything is all good. And then you call reject when, uh, you know, things have had an, an error or a problem. Such as, you know, reject, error. Um, uh oh. Um, and then if we use our promise here, we can say promise catch error console error 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 lots of errors. And then when we save that, we get our uh oh error here. But we'll assume that everything is all good, and so we'll call this uh, resolve function here and say everything is all good. Um, and so now um, when we are resolving our promise and our function, we can say, okay, what was the result of, uh, of that, that asynchronous call? We say console log, uh, was it good? Result, and we'll find out. Yep, was it all good? All good, it was good. It was really good, 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 good. So let's look at a practical example, our old friend Fetch here, the big reveal. So anyways, what this does is it uses this library called XHR and this just generates a network request here. Um, as you can see here in our browser, when we scroll it over, it just generates these network requests uh, to grab these text files here. 
And so what we're doing is we're creating, um, we're just exporting this function here that takes a URI and it simply res returns a new promise that uh, has a resolve and reject arguments that we can call. And so now within here, we can call our XHR function on the URI that the user has given here. And then depending on the result of this, it will either give us this error, uh, the response object uh, for the uh, XHR request, and then the body of it or the contents of the page that it's returning. So we can simply say, okay, if there was an error, just straight up error, maybe something there's a problem with the library, we're just going to reject and give that error directly to it. And so uh, that will just let the user catch that uh, in their promise. But then also, if, you know, if the status code is not equal to 200, if everything is not okay, then we're going to reject that and just pass in the body of it. And so whatever the page has says, you know, like this 404 is not found, or, you know, what are you doing on my server? Get out of here. You know, we can just pass that as a new error body and just reject the promise. But now if everything's all good, then the body will contain the contents of the, the fish and the bear's text. And so we just simply call resolve here. And so it makes a API really nice and consumable uh, for our, our end user here to just call promise. Let's just fetch that bears. Let's get the bears. And then, oh, if there's an error, we can catch the error. So that is Promises, a very simple API, but a very powerful API um, if used correctly. Um, and so anyways, I hope this has helped you learn about Promises. And if it has, please share the video and help others learn about Promises. And if you want to see more videos, uh, please subscribe. And thanks again for watching.